Welcome back LHS. I'm Ersten Scott and I'm Kaylee Evans and today is Wednesday, April 27th and this is your Blue Devil News. Prices are now officially $90. This is the last week to pre-order your yearbook at $90. All pre-order sales end this Friday. Orders for yearbooks can be made out at yearbookforever.com or with exact cash or check made to LHS at room 303. After Friday, April 29th, yearbook prices will rise to $100. Yearbooks can be purchased after yearbooks are delivered to school mid-May while supplies last. However, there will be no holds or guarantees after. Cheer tryouts will be held May 4th through the 6th. Tryout packets can be picked up in the main office. A physical dated after April 15th and a copy of an insurance card will be required to try out. If any upcoming seniors are interested in being in Blue Devil Bank next school year, please go pick up an application from Ms. Davis at the bank during lunch. As you know, prom is this Friday. Juniors and seniors will be excused on that day to get ready for their big night out. Please keep in mind, however, that Friday is the only day that will be excused. For the next two weeks, Student Council will be hosting Money Wars and collecting change for the MD Anderson Cancer Center. Students are being asked to drop change in their class's jug located outside of the bank during lunch. The class that raises the most money will get to leave school two minutes early the following week. Please tell your students to bring in their change through Friday, May 6th, and help us meet our goal of $500. Cafe Blue has officially ended as of today. Our wonderful chefs are headed to Washington, D.C. to represent Tennessee in the National Restaurant Association Pro Star Competition next week. They are hard at work raising money, practicing, and preparing to bring home scholarships and bragging rights. Here is all that you need to know. The last day for breakfast was today. However, teacher lunch will still be served Wednesday through Friday this week. Our Culinary 2 students will be preparing these lunches and are eager to do so. Teachers join them in the cafe or submit your order to be delivered. We will be right back after these segments. Hi, welcome to But You Didn't Know, the returning show where I give you random facts you didn't ask for. According to the Cosmopolitan, Australia is wider than the moon. The moon is at 3,400 kilometers, while Australia's diameter from east to west is almost 4,000 kilometers. The heart of a shrimp is located in its head. They also have an open circulatory system, meaning they have no arteries and their blood flows freely. The actors who voiced Mickey and Minnie Mouse got married in real life. Rusty Taylor, who voiced Minnie, and Wayne Alwine, who voiced Mickey, got married in 1991. Wayne Alwine was also the longest tenured voice actor for Mickey, voicing him from the early 80s to the early 2000s. There's a word for someone giving their opinion on something they know nothing about. It's ultra pro, ultra crippa, ultra creep, this word. The first person convicted of speeding was going eight miles per hour, which was over four times the speed limit. The resulting car chase was too fast for human eyes. And our last fact of the day, I'm coming for you. And that's all the facts I have for you today. I'm Lennon Raleigh. Hopefully they let me out of my cage again before I record, and I'll see you next time. Congratulations to our carpentry teacher, Mr. Wooten, for winning the Wilson County Teacher of the Year. The banquet was held at Cumberland University, and he was completely surprised. If you see him around the school, make sure to give him a huge congratulations. National Honor Society seniors can pick up graduation cords in between classes in Miss Corella's room B315. If you do not pay your dues, then you may not get your cords until all seniors have picked them up. For all you French enthusiastics, our French club will be holding a meeting tomorrow after school in B room 306. Seniors need to complete the Google form that was sent to their school email last week. Their in this information is critical to the guidance office when sending final transcripts as well as other important scholarship information. The deadline to complete these forms is this Friday. If students cannot find the link to the Google form, stop by guidance or scan any of the QR codes found around the building. Mr. Shrum is hold, hosting AP Human Geography exam tutorings on Tuesday and Thursdays after school between 3 p.m. and 4 p.m. in room B101. These reviews are great refreshers for students that took AP Human Geography in the fall and need a review material prior to the exam. This, there will also be an A-Push review that will take place this Saturday here at school in Mr. Wilson's classroom from 3 to 6 p.m. 
Our spring musical, Mamma Mia, is part of the Nashville High School Musical Theater Awards through TPAC. The ceremony will be held at TPAC on Saturday, May 14th. Some of the nominees are Kennedy Mastin for Outstanding Female Dancer, Grant Summer for Outstanding Male Soloist, and a school award for Outstanding Music Direction, and many more. We'll keep you posted as we get more information. Thank you to everyone who supported our Performing Arts Department by attending the spring production. LHS Chamber Choir Sapphire and Blue Diamonds perform for the Music and the Parts Festival. Choirs from all over performed at Northview Academy on Friday evening and Saturday morning. The award ceremony was held in Dollywood after they spent the afternoon in the parks. The Blue Diamonds received the top overall choir award and a combined score of 95.5 out of 100, which is the highest scoring choir out of every division and classification. Congratulations to Dixie Green for being awarded the top overall vocal soloist award. Their next event is the Spring Choir Concert Friday, May 13th at 7 p.m. Students, come on down to support our amazing choir. The choir students have had an outstanding past few weeks. Track had a meet last Thursday, April 21st, and Friday, April 22nd. Our team finished the week in third place with many amazing individual performances. Our boys 4x100 meter and 4x200 meter teams both finished in second place. Jared Hall and Connor McDermott got first and second in the high jump respectively, and Dwayne Brown and Brandon Martin finished first and second in the triple jump. On the girls' side, Kerrigan Gill finished third in the 3200 meter, and Ella Pine finished third in the pole vault with a school record of nine feet. Track's next meet will be held April 30th at Siegel High School. That's all the news we have today, LHS. I'm Kaylee Evans. And I'm Ariston Scott. And this has been the news to you from the white and blue.